guys, so today I'm going to be doing a cooking video because I know it's requested often and a lot of you want to know how you can start cooking in the cab. So I'm going to give you some helpful tips while I'm cooking our breakfast. So I'm doing a breakfast scramble and I already have my potatoes in there. So I had a whole potato and um, it was about like this big and that's enough for two of us. And I threw it in the skillet with a little bit of butter and it's already mostly uh, cooked up. So it's in really small pieces. And then one of my other hacks that I do is I take these snack bags and it is full of onions and peppers that are already diced up. So you can do this. Um, next time you're at the store, you can grab some onions and peppers or if you're like me and you want it straight from the farm, I buy enough all year. I spend one day shopping on my onions and peppers, put it in the freezer and I'm good to go. This makes it so you can have more variety in your food and then make it really fast in the truck. And I'm saying the snack bag because it fits in your freezer really, really well. And then I have some sausage right here. We're gonna fry that up and some eggs. So let's go ahead and, and keep going with that. So I did just get a new skillet um, because um, my Paula Deen one was about two years old and it was just getting well used and well loved and it cooked lots of meals. So it's time to replace it. So I have found though, there's no use in spending a ton of money on a expensive skillet because they all wear out about the same amount of time. So I will leave a link down below. I do recommend getting a skillet um, that is deep dish and that definitely helps. Um, you guys know I cook while scouts driving to help save time and allow us to eat better meals while on the road. So um, this is a deep dish 12 by 12 uh, kind of skillet. All right guys, so I only have the bare minimum this week for cooking, which is the electric skillet because unfortunately we're still in jump seat. Our new truck got damaged during delivery. Totally stinks for us. Uh, it's still at the dealership. It has to get the damage fixed to it. And um, so I just have the minimum. And so this is an easy meal uh, for having bare necessities that you can just have some ingredients. You can throw it in a pan. And we're really big into meals that you can cook multiple things in the pan at one time and have um, a couple different meal options. So the breakfast scramble is really, really easy. Um, I have my salt, my pepper. I, I'm just bare basic. So another tip that you guys can use when you're starting out is condiment packets for some seasoning and some spicing. I will be doing that later. I'll be cooking tuna for dinner, tuna steak, and I'll be using um, condiments to uh, help season it and spice it up. Um, but maybe you haven't started cooking in the cab. This is a great place that you could start. Just get a skillet and do some basic things like this egg scramble. It doesn't take a lot. Throw whatever you want in there, some onions, peppers. You can even buy onions and peppers already diced at the grocery store, and maybe you just need to divide it up into snack bags. Start simple and build off of it. So how do you know what skillet you wanna buy other than just clicking the link and ordering the one that we have? It also has to do with the wattage. So this is 1200 watts. We definitely don't recommend anything over 1500 watts and continuous because it will be too much for your inverter and you do not want to do damage. This is a like $30, $40 skillet versus the cost of an inverter. Don't mess up your inverter, guys. So that might be helpful. You guys also might be thinking like, why do I have the curtain shut? Because it's kind of weird, but it's really, really sunny out there and you couldn't see me if I didn't. The potatoes, the onions, peppers, everything's all mixed together. And I create a well in the middle to crack the eggs in. And note that this is a, um, no stick skillet and it's really really easy to clean so the eggs just from the grease from the sausage and the butter from before is plenty to make things not not stick so we're just going to crack the eggs in the well you guys know one of the helpful tips of cooking in the cab is making less dishes and less mess Once we get it all mixed up, we're just gonna throw the other stuff back over on top of it. So this is two big plates full of food. You guys can eat real food real fast. This only took me 15 minutes from start to finish. I left the time rolling so I would know to make all of this. It's gonna take you longer to get in the truck stop, get through the line and get back to your truck and you haven't even started eating. So guys, start cooking in the cab. To help you with portion control, this is one large potato, a half pound of sausage, 
three eggs and probably about a half cup of onions and peppers and a cup of cheese. So hopefully that helps you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the first bite. Enjoy guys! 